If you're a structural or a civil engineer, particularly in the UK, but this applies to worldwide, you've got a choice of two institutions to choose from. The Institution of Civil Engineers or the Institution of Structural Engineers. Which one should you go for? In this video, we're going to look at specifically which of these two has the greater influence and is going to be able to therefore represent and support you the best. So first, a quick look at the history. The I struct E founded in 1908 and it was the Concrete Institute. So this is important because this idea of being founded particularly for the concrete material pervades to some extent the philosophy of the I struct E. So it started out being a very niche institution. It got its Royal Charter in 1934 and it describes itself as the world's largest membership organisation dedicated to structural engineering. The ICE, on the other hand, was founded much earlier. It's the world's first professional engineering body and it was founded by the most famous engineer at that time. He was the first president of the ICE. It got its royal charter in 1828, a full hundred years before the I struct E. So the size of the organisation, if you look here on the left, the international headquarters of the I struct E is in Bastwick Street, London, whereas the HQ of the ICE is in George Street, Westminster, London. So let's just have a look at these two. Here's the HQ of the I struct E. You'll be forgiven for thinking this is a rather uh, scruffy, nondescript street compared with the headquarters of the ICE, which is there right in the heart of London, in Westminster, by the Houses of Parliament, by Westminster Abbey, by Big Ben. And you can see sort of the difference in credibility that the building itself brings for the ICE compared with the I struct T. Going back to some other things about the size of the organisation, the I struct T has 7.4 million in income, that's in 2018, compared with a much greater income for the ICE, 35.7 million. And 4.1 for the I struct T comes in as membership income and a much greater amount, 13.3. For the ICE, the I struct E has 57 staff compared to the 356 and this is reflected in the numbers in LinkedIn which I just used as a check. 143 employees listed on LinkedIn for the I struct E, 863 employees listed for the ICE. Now this is very important because if you want support becoming chartered to become a chartered member of the Institute of Structure Engineers is in my view much more difficult because they simply don't have the number of staff and the support that the comparatively large ICE does. So the size of membership for the I struct e is around about 27,000. I can't actually find that number listed officially in on the I struct e website, which I found a bit strange. It's possible that the, the numbers are dwindling and that they don't specifically advertise that number for that reason, I don't know. The ICE makes a point of advertising their membership number because it is large. They have a similar number of international members to the entire membership of the I struct E. Now, I also haven't been able to find how many in international members the I struct E has, and I suspect that most of them are UK based. As a measure of popularity, we can see here that there's an estimated 840 hits a day on the I struct E website compared to 17,000, a much greater amount for the ICE. And again, you can see that the Google results for the I struct E org website show around 76,000 links or pages and 1.3 billion for the ICE.org.uk. I don't know how accurate that is, but it shows a relative measure between the two. There are far more jobs listed on icerecruit.com than the structural engineer and there are more followers though not many more on LinkedIn and Twitter for the ICE compared to the I struct E. 
Now this is where the gap really starts to widen, I think, personally, between the iStruct T and the ICE. So media appearances and advocacy, a, an institution, a body that's representing structural and civil engineers needs to be out there advocating and providing advice for those who are not within those job roles. So for the iStruct T I've written press, what press? Even the committee member names are not listed on the website for the specialist committees and subcommittees that they have. There is no specific press part of the website as far as I can see. Compare that with the ICE and it's like light and day. There's a press centre which has on it for you to grab and download 48 press releases since 2018, which is a large number. This is the statement that's there on the ICE website. We provide research, facts, figures and photos and have a large pool of expert spokespeople available for comment. So third bullet point here on the right, the ICE provides independent expert advice to government and policy makers. And I want to just show you this particular page. So they actually work with Westminster and since they're just up the road, they're able to provide uh, people at the drop of a hat to go and advise the government of the UK. Their work includes publishing the annual State of the Nation report on the performance of UK infrastructure, advising HM Treasury on the development of, na of the National Infrastructure Plan and, and so on and so on. So this, I think, really sets the ICE apart from the iStruct T and it gives a flavour for how important one institution is compared to the other. So in conclusion, just taking a look at the recognition worldwide for the two bodies, the, the job name Chartered Structural Engineer compared with Chartered Civil Engineer is relatively similar, 70,000 web results compared to 102,000 web results. You would therefore not expect that the institutions for those respective job roles would differ so markedly. But if you look here on the second bullet point, there's only 224,000 search results for the institution itself compared to 2.6 million results online for the specific search for the institution of civil engineers. And so I think that, though it's a, a rough indication of the recognition that the two institutions have compared to one another, I think in summary, that's probably a relatively good measure of the name recognition of those two institutions. So this is just one aspect of the difference between the ICE and the iStruct T. Please subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this.